again i'm here with three young men you guys will have a pleasure just checking them out watching them and seeing what they do they are all from the nutmeg state i have a running back from penn state by the name of silas red i have the linebacker kevin pierre louis from boston college and i have another linebacker from penn state by the name of Kyrie Ford. this is a great day i want this to be very easy a very open type situation guys let me ask you a question how you guys doing first and foremost Feel good. Feel good? Feel good? Doing great. Let the people know, I mean, what was it like for you to get to where you are? Give them an understanding of background or your history somewhat. Well, um, me, Kyrie Fort, Stanford, Connecticut, born and raised. Um, Come from Stanford High, went to Stanford High School. Uh, You know, when I was young, started football fourth grade, went through uh, Pop Warner League, fourth, fifth, sixth. and then I just got into the Stanford Youth Program. Right. Um, went to high school here. We did a couple of after-school programs here. Right, um, right. Went to All-American game, and now I'm at Penn State. Beautiful, beautiful. Tell me, you guys played for N- N- Norwalk League? Norwalk League. Yes. yes. Give me a little history of that. And let me, let me, let me I want to ask, what is the competition between, between Stanford and Norwalk? Um, well, Kevin and I, we've been playing on the same team since, like, first grade. We played all throughout Pop Warner together, middle school and high school together. Yes. Um, so, I remember, actually, Stanford, we played Stanford one year, I think it was Pee Wee, one of their last Jimmy years. Yeah, Jaguars. Jimmy Pee Wee, Jaguars. Yeah. We played, and I think that was one of y'all last years okay. in Pop Warner, before y'all switched to Stanford Youth, I think. Right. And, uh, we like, a whole zero. Yeah, yeah, we won 12-0. <laughs> two, two touchdowns. <laughs> we'll leave it there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was a okay. uh, offensive, uh, offensive star right there. You know, I was more of a defense, but you know things have changed. Yeah, right. Definitely, 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 definitely. Well, let me ask you guys a question in regards to becoming a student athlete. What is the preparation process in becoming a student athlete? Student athlete. I mean, is there is it time time commitments? I think it starts from at home. When you have a good foundation at home, it makes it so much easier. Uh, we've all had a great parents on the process of coming right. up. So becoming a student athlete, the student part comes first, and that was helped by with our parents, pushing us to go forward, and right. then the love for the game, the athlete part came, that just fell in. Right. All right, guys, I, I want to know, what are some of your, what, what was one of your most favorite moments at your respective colleges, you know what I mean, at, your, at the schools that you're at? What's, what's a great moment? Give me some moments. My greatest moment. Yes. Was, um... When LeVar Ayrton came to Penn State game. Okay. And this is one of the few times I actually got to meet him. Mm-hmm. And he was like, you know, I'm wearing his number and everything. Right. So he was like, when you make a play, throw up in the sticks. Okay, okay. And that was the Iowa game where I, where I got my first sack. I know that's right. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> got good. the sack and that's everything. Good. Don't worry about it. It's okay. Got what? the sack. Okay. And um, threw up. Threw up the sticks. The sticks. The sticks. <laughs> and that was the greatest moment. I felt looking at the crowd and everything. Right. Man, What's your guys' moment? Uh, I would probably say for me, being a defensive player was scoring mm-hmm. for the first time. Got a, I'm not sure what it was called. It's kind of like in the mix. It's either a fumble or interception. Right. The first time I'm call it interception. <laughs> I know that's right. Yes. <laughs> it returned it for uh, 96 yards and just, it was, it made me reminisce of how it felt to, how it felt to score. Right. How many, how, how, many mile, how many yards was it? 96. Wow, that's a great yes, feeling. Yes. Once that once that ball was in my hands again, I, I didn't know what to do. I was just like, <laughs> do I run? Okay, yeah, run. <laughs> uh, don't, don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. No one's near you. Just don't look back. Just don't look back. Just wow. Run. Just run. Wow. It, it was a great moment. Try to stay humble, but right. I couldn't hold the smile back. I understand. I understand. Yeah, definitely. How about you, Silas? Uh, I'm gonna go with my first collegiate touchdown. Okay. Uh, Northwestern. Northwestern. Right. Uh, it actually we were down what 21-7 Seven. going into uh, coming out of halftime. Uh, so it's tied 28-28 now or 21-21. Uh huh. And I, I scored the go ahead uh, touchdown. 
to make it 28, 21 for uh, for Joe's as far as it went. I know so that's right. That's part of my setback. Mm. Yeah. I feel the pain. For really? Yes, yeah, definitely. Now you guys are all going to be juniors. Yes. Right. And obviously looking looking for a really really upcoming good season, which is going to be great and continuing success. Um, let me ask you something. What is it that you can tell the youth? Well, I'm, I'm gonna take a quote from my father as well. Like, okay. Something he instilled in me from day high. Right. There's a price to pay for success, and it's called hard work. Mm. And I know I have heard that before. Yeah, from him and every, you know, so just whether it be in the classroom, on the field, on the court, wherever your interest is, you just gotta work hard for it. And right. I would say the amount of time that you have to actually put in to being successful and how it doesn't come as easy as you think it comes, as you right. like, see on TV, you know, red carpet and everything. Uh, you know, those guys, they took, they were dedicated and they took their talents to the max. Right. And they worked very hard of it. Right. And um, that's just one thing. Okay. I wish someone would have told me before going to college, you know, right. going to, first going there from high school, you're like, oh, it's easy, I'm just going to. Do this, do that. And it's a grind. And thank you guys. I appreciate you guys coming again. And we'll see you next time inside the fortress.